Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. has opened its cellars to reveal remarkable paintings of Jesus dating back to the 1400s. Have you ever seen or heard of biblical icons where Jesus or the Virgin Mary have dark skin? Or even Abraham or King David? Then look beyond Europe. Russia has opened its vaults to reveal biblical icons featuring darker skinned figures. In case this is making you wonder if Russia has its own twist on biblical figures. The answer is a no. This is not the case at all. This is, a matter of fact, as real as the untouched horizon of time. These icons aren't just artistic anomalies. These hold deep meanings of hidden shaded truths, sparking serious curious questions about history and faith, representation and the unexpected corners of religious art. Pay close attention, amazing people. You are just about to hear it today, like it is, in this video. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a video that is going viral and, uh, you know, uh, it's a short clip of President Vladimir Putin of Russia, where he allegedly proclaimed that Jesus of the Bible, our Christ, the Lord, happens to be a black man. You know, this is not the first time um, we are hearing or seeing the debates uh, over the, the race of Jesus. And sometimes I look at it and, um, and you know, I had, I've never paid attention to, to, to such. But then what uh, made me to want to talk about this is the kind of reactions that I've seen both from white people and black people. Then I, I came to a conclusion that ignorance indeed is a terrible disease. Now, for me, the race of Jesus has nothing to do with me or with you. What is important is who is Jesus to you. Now, I'm going to play some videos, some reactions here, you know, and then uh, I will let you, um, you know, take a stand. Now, one thing you must understand is that whether Jesus was black, whether, whether Jesus was white, whether Jesus was brown, whatever the color of his skin at the time he was here, now, does not hold any importance as it is to who Jesus is to you. His complexion or his race, you know, is second to, I mean, uh, it, it has nothing to do, has no bearing on your soul. Whether you, you successfully claim that Jesus was black, you successfully claim that Jesus was white, but at the end of the day, you don't have a relationship with that same Jesus. You're only interested in political assumptions and racial uh, supremacy. You want your race to, to be uh, to be acknowledged as in, 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 being, in being greater. Now, I want you to understand that even the Israelites who Jesus supposedly was their brother in the flesh, majority of them don't even believe in Jesus. And that fact alone should make you to understand that it doesn't matter. But anyway, don't take it from me. I know some of you would say, agree with me, but here are some of the reactions that I found on the internet that I must tell you shocked me. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. You have to be an exemplary type of stupid to believe that Jesus of Nazareth, Christ the King, was a black African Nubian man, a sub-Saharan African man. Let's go back to 10,000 BCE, Anatolian farmer DNA. Here's the modern distribution, but Anatolian farmer DNA is coming from Anatolia here, but it was also in the Levant. If you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black. But they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks Aramaic. Does this person look Sub-Saharan African to you? This is Thutmose III, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look Sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that Putin is revealing would be more accurate if they were all portraying Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. 
Well, well, well. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people. A lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish brown hair. I don't, I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene. Just like being black and just like being white, it has to do with your genes, color of your eyes. I'm sure we could find out. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic, that is one heck of a why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue-eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig, though. My hair's looking... Oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin, you drew the race card. Now what you gonna do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus. You're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway, Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're gonna nuke us, aren't you? You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what, what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin, what do you think you're doing to Joe? Hurting his feelings? No, I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now, because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you, just like when I voted for Obama, because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks so they could stop being so racist against white people because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. What's going on, y'all? So Vladimir Putin, he went, uh, he was at a press conference and whatnot, and he released a bunch of images of a bunch of black um, biblical people, even a black Jesus. So let me get y'all's uh, thoughts on it. It's tripping about the videos that I'm posting, but just look at this picture right here. And look at this one. Let's see, you see the nose. It has a big nose. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not being racist now. I'm just saying, man, you know, I'm just talking about features. And then, I mean, you see that? That one looks kind of like European style. I'm not going to lie. And then this one right here looks like it is Jesus right here and um i don't know now obviously i can't give you a for sure answer and tell you oh yes this is jesus yada 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 but one thing that i can say is as a muslim we believe that moses was a black man and jesus we believe jesus was a black man too i mean when you look at even when you read certain bible verses when it talks about um the feet of jesus christ were bronze what does that tell you so me personally i have no idea where the hell this person came from this is not jesus this is just a white man with a beard. And one thing I love about Islam is that um, there's no images of anybody. You don't go and make images of prophets. You don't go and make images of Muhammad. You don't go and make images of Jesus. And you don't make images of nobody. Because if you do that, we're having the same problem we're having right now. Even a painting can't 100% accurately predict what or even tell future generations this is what that person looked like even though the paintings might be detailed this isn't exactly what the person looked like so my whole thing is i've always known that jesus was was uh colored i always knew uh moses was colored i mean the whole message of jesus was destroyed by paul when he told the jews not to obey the old testament no more but jesus said to obey the old testament laws and whoever tells you not to they're an enemy well, what do y'all think about this, man? Y'all comment down below. Do y'all think Jesus is white or do y'all think he was colored? Y'all comment down below. Catch y'all next episode. A rato. Higher nation that they now serve black Jesus. Well, young lady, that's part of one of the reasons why I've been ostracized by so many people in my life. Because I've known that for years. I mean, first you have to look at where Jesus came from. It's all dark skin tone people over there anyway, pretty much. Okay? I've known for years, since I can remember honestly, that Jesus was not a Caucasian. That Jesus was a darker skin toned person. I've known that for years years and I've never had a problem understanding and believing that okay <laughs> it's funny though there's been people like me out there for years saying that very thing and they're discredited and they're they're ostracized and and they want to uh people like oh no we gotta shut that one up but the minute a world leader steps on the stage and says it oh my god it's front page news i don't care i'm glad it's getting put out there because it's the truth and i've known it since as long as i can remember i've just known that 
you know, and I mean, we're all pretty much just a cesspool of races anymore anyway. But I'm glad to know that other people are finally waking up to that truth. Keep smiling, everyone. Entire nation that they now serve Black Jesus. I'm very happy that the truth is finally out. But knowing Russians and Vladimir Putin, I can see that there's he's going to gain a political upper hand in this because they're creating new currency with, I think it's South Africa. So it's not just that. It's not a religious. There is a gain, a huge monetary financial gain in his statement. But nevertheless, I am very happy that the truth, even under this kind of a sauce, so to speak, it's coming out and we all are here to celebrate it entire nation that they now serve black jesus so when i was taking russian in college my professor was from a family who had been evicted from russia because they were basically tied in with the czar time so they were living in the united states and he told me about the politics that they share he made two interesting predictions to me back in the early 80s the first prediction was that software engineers would be the new aristocracy in the country the second prediction he made was that at some point the united states would be more like russia and russia would be more like the united states and that in this country, we would have a racial civil war. With this announcement, time the way it is, while I think it's great, and I think it's cool what, what Putin is doing, because, you know, hey, being inclusive is awesome, but it also makes me wonder if this guy knew something that I, none of us really know. Vladimir Putin just told his entire nation that they- Psychological warfare. You assume he has no benefit of saying, there's way more going on than you and I know. I know that all of the religions and all of the governments of the world are one, but not a good unity an evil unity like we saw covid march of 2020 this coming from a guy who has been known to persecute quote-unquote christians in his country i don't trust him and currently i don't speak russian putin vladimir decided that this is a good time for him to open one of the oldest vaults that he has been holding on for so many years now if you ask me where did he get the vault i don't know how did how, why did he have it mm, i have no idea but what i'm gonna say is this it's one of the oldest vaults that holds basically some of like the most important you know art as far as portraying to religion and who jesus was and and how jesus looked like so he decided that this is a good time to open it <laughs> mr putin <laughs> let me tell you why this is going to rough up some feathers especially in the religion community and in a christianity community you're trying to tell a group of people that their jesus was not black you're trying to tell a group of people who truly believe that jesus was white <sighs> For those who doesn't understand how religions have played into, specifically uh, Christianity have played into colonization and, and have made it possible and, and, and created access for, for, for colonizers to go to other countries and, and, and you know, conquer. Yo, for those who doesn't know, <clears throat> Jesus was black, oh, hey. I mean, I knew that because in the Bible, he literally described him as a brown person with the, you know, our type of hair with like a woolly, fussy hair. So the white Christian is about to be upset, Ooh, but I'm here for it. I want to hear more. <laughs> okay. So hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. This thing about who and opening the vault and showing up the true color of Jesus. Like, uh, um, first I want to say this. I am a born again servant of Christ. I'm not going to tell you that the pigment of his skin, um, determines your salvation. Absolutely not. When it comes to salvation, um, in the spirit, flesh does not matter, but also also when some people say it doesn't matter what christ's skin color was here's the thing right if it doesn't matter why hide it you know why painted something it's not then if it didn't matter why couldn't just leave it how it was and it also helps you change your perspective of how you view the word of god because usually like when you picture the character not characters because they're people you think of rice skinned people and it's like oh that's not it i remember the children bibles that i had growing up it's like oh no they actually look like me like that's interesting and it's also nice to know like oh wow like i could possibly be from like the lineage of the 12 tribes of israel like that's a that's a cool thing you know so i don't want that like i'm trying to have this like balance this equilibrium like we want to some of us want to appreciate like oh okay we are possibly um not even possibly i believe i am a hebrew you know like that's yay yay but it doesn't when it comes to i'm not a hebrew israelite 
I'm not gonna say white people going to hell. I'm gonna step on white white, white people going to bat out of me. No, because that's foolishness. It's not about. We also gotta remember we the ones that persecuted our savior. We the ones that was continuously called a stiff neck rebellious generation. So we shouldn't really be puffed up in chest like yeah we the people. Okay, guess what? We the people. We the people crucified our savior. So how about that? So understand. I'm not. I'm not the one like. You gotta worship a black Jesus. Like, no, that's not like it's not that type of stance. But the word of God says, it might be John chapter 4, verse 24, that God is a spirit, and those who love him or those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if the truth is he was not a right skinned person, why we why we <laughs> why we worship him in a lie and deception, you feel me? But I wanted to say this, right? Ask yourself, why is Putin showing this now? Like, why is Putin show, Putin is showing this now? I believe that, of course, during these end times, the Most High, Jesus Christ, is revealing His truth. But also, I remember watching the movie Never Leave the World Behind, and basically, one of the points in there is, if you want to touch a country without touching a country, cause chaos in the midst of it, and they'll fight themselves. I believe he showed this. One of his intentions to show this was to start a civil war because my people, my colored people, and then also. The pride in my generation, once they start finding out and it start clicking in their minds, like, oh, you lied to us, and that our true savior was actually this color, bet these folks, they gon' look, it's gon' they gonna butt heads. Not not black people against black people, but it's gonna be black people against other races. That's what I believe. I believe a civil war is gonna start out and break out. I'm not prophesying, gonna break out in America, and I think that's what Putin Putin's doing. I think he's a very intelligent man and he's um wisdom like he has wisdom in that area. I'm not saying like in faith. That he's no, he's knowing what he's doing. He's knowing what he know what he's doing. Revealing this truth and revealing that USA was a deceiver, deceiver. Oh, he know what he's doing. I believe a civil war is gonna break out. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what I think. But yeah. Shalom, shalom, family. Good morning to everybody. I just had to make this little quick video this morning. I just got one question. How you white Christians feeling now that Putin done opened up the vote and done showed y'all what I've been telling y'all, what we've been telling y'all, you know, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus is a black man. He's a black man all day long, black into the ground. So how y'all feeling about that? How y'all feelings right about now? Y'all ready to worship a black Jesus? Y'all ready to bow down? Y'all ready to bow to a black Jesus? I'm sure y'all like, there is no way I'm gonna bow to a black man. I'm not gonna bow down to him. Oh, you gonna bow. <laughs> oh, you gonna bow. See, the Israelites don't have a problem with bowing to their Messiah, their Savior, Yahweh Shai. Y'all do. Just say he served black Jesus. What? <laughs> what is going on? Wait a minute. Stop the presses. Putin said that he's gonna lead the world into understanding that Jesus was black. Wait a minute. <laughs> what bruh i'm starting to like putin even though he's coming for us um maybe he won't come for us i know that's a little racist so just a little bit but i'm just saying he might i mean it is about time that we get favored for i, I mean god is is he gonna have to justify it some type of way have i said too much okay I, i'm gonna go now but y'all go ahead on and check that interview out um he said we're not lying no more he said we're not gonna keep this under wraps no more he said he tied it with the lies he's tired with the white jesus and the blue eyes and i know that ruffles some of y'all feathers because if all my life if i was white and i thought jesus was white with blue eyes all my life i would feel some type of way if somebody was like nah jesus black he been black that you just been lied to I would feel some type of way now i have to i'm gonna just mop the reverse experience it, it feels it feels it feels liberating it feels like ah! tiktok this video is for black and white people when i say white people tired of white people shit this is what i mean oh don't go nowhere let me piss myself down to a little guy so you can share this and comment vladimir putin is telling his entire country that we will no longer celebrate a white jesus because jesus is black also, he wants his nation to know that moving forward, we will no longer be dividing. We will always be a unity, and Jesus is black. They just opened a vault that has all the evidence that proves Jesus is black, and our history is whitewashed. What they found were books, the books you see below, of black Jesus, black Israelites, black 
Jews. They discovered the figures of biblical proportions. Vladimir Putin said these books revealed the truth. He said everybody in the Bible is black, including Jesus. He says the undeniable truth stands before us, not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and the unity that faith embodies. Putin is telling the world and his entire country, we will not hate black people. We will love black people. We will cherish black people. And their Lord and Savior is a black man. He wants his country to be more inclusive and understanding of your history and spirituality. All these fake ass Christians out here worshiping Leonardo da Vinci's gay lover. That image of Jesus that y'all got hanging up was Leonardo da Vinci's boyfriend. The real Jesus was black. Vladimir Putin is telling this country from this day forward, you will not worship a white Jesus. He wants to protect his nation under the guidance of black Jesus. These are all his words coming out of his mouth because they found all the evidence that they have been hiding for years. Smithsonian. He says black Jesus is not just the cornerstone of Christian faith, but that black Jesus is a symbol of the universal values of love. He said this black Jesus, his likeness and his history has now been unveiled. He said that believing in a white Jesus is not Christianity. He says humanity Humanity divides us more than our differences. In other words, white people divides us more than anything. He said, let this discovery remind you that history is whitewashed, but also don't overlook the contributions of the black people. He said that this information that they just discovered challenges us to re-examine what we know. He says this discovery questions their assumptions. He said, open your hearts to the broader possibility of understanding that Jesus was black. And he says, as we embark on this journey of discovery and understanding the truth, he will build a nation that truly reflects the teachings of black Jesus. Now, uh, before I, I round off, I just want to say that there is just one about one or two statements that I, you know, I agree with. A part of which was the lady that brilliantly spoke about the importance of Jesus in our lives. Now, this in dragging this in is like the unnecessary argument about whether you should answer a Christian or you should answer a member of the body of Christ or you should answer a member of the ecclesia. Some persons are putting up some kind of you know, unintelligent excuses that it is because there are some some fake people in Christianity. That is why it is better we drop the the label Christianity and embrace you know being called the church. So how are you going to filter it? Does the name or the label have the the you know the capacity or the ability on itself to determine those who are tests and those who are wheat? So whether you are called a Christian, I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. I am a slave of Christ. I am Christ's. You know, I am Christ's. I, he owns me. So whether you say it was, you know, the pagans that called the disciples Christians. Now, what, what difference does it make? All right. So now when, when, I mean, when people put up some kind of, of, of argument, I, 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 I began to question myself, what kind of thing is the devil trying to achieve in the church? And people are just, you know, being so gullible. People think they're intelligent and their intelligence is, is foolishness, actually. You know, so this drag or this, you know, tussle about the race of Jesus is aching, is tantamount to, you know, to, to uh, uh, an effort in futility because it bears no bearing, it has no bearing on anyone that believes in Jesus. Now, the question should be, where the Jews of the time of Jesus, black, brown, or white, whatever com complexion they had, whatever race Jesus belonged to, black, white, brown, you know, whichever. whichever. Now, it, it, it is not as important as you knowing Jesus. And Jesus himself says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It is the truth about Jesus that you know, not about his race. Who is Jesus to you? When Jesus was engaging the, his disciples, his apostles, he was asking them, who do men say that I am? And they began to give all kinds of explanations. And at the point in time, when they exhausted what, you know, their, their options were, Jesus turned to them and said, you, 
who do you say that I am? Now, in all the people that have stayed with Jesus for such a longer time, it was only Peter by the revelation of the Holy Spirit that could say, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Finish. And Jesus said upon this truth, upon this revelation, that flesh and blood did not give to you, but by my Father, my Father which is in heaven. Now, upon this truth will I establish my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right? So, I think, you know, we, we, we don't have to to banter about these things we don't have to you know to to i mean to disturb ourselves about these things even the said video putin i only saw vladimir putin reveal an image which if he said anything i don't know and some people are even putting up you know a fact check saying that is a lie whether it's a lie or not pastor billy graham said it all here and don't you black people ever forget one thing what the man that helped jesus carry that cross was a black man Okay. Right. And don't ever forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. And Jesus was not a white man wow. like me. Wow. Nor was he as black as some of you. Woo. We don't know what the color of his skin, but it must have been a dark color like the people of his day because he was a man like them. Don't ever say it's a white man's religion or a black man's religion. It's a world religion. He belongs to the world. So it is actually very important also to note that politicians cannot be trusted. Putin may have said, if he said it, or may have chosen this time that he is at war with, you know, his white brothers. And, uh, and he is showing so much interest in Africa and has chosen this right, this time as a right moment to score a political goal against the Americas, the, the French of this world, the Germanys of this world, you know, and the, what have you, the UK of this world. Now, so, he might have chosen this time to say this thing to do it now and don't be fooled don't be carried away thinking that oh putin must be a, a christian you know he is seen now visiting all kinds of places and so if you think that he, he loves your christ so much and because he has said this and uh, recently he was also pictured in an orthodox church and uh, kissing all kinds of kissable materials and objects in in the church and the same person was also seen you know admiring the 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 the, the quran he's a politician and politicians uh 95 percent of politicians cannot be trusted all right so don't think that putin suddenly is loving your christ is suddenly loving christianity and then he wants to encourage christians this is this might at the end of the day be political uh um gimmicks that he employed tactically to win the heart of all africans on his side you must stay away from all these things we're not of this world in the in we are in the world but we're not of this world so we must not allow the world powers to to bring us into some 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 foolish arguments and genealogies that does not gender any other good thing but strife all these things you see will tend to strive i just want to bring this to you across uh my dear brethren let us focus on one thing jesus christ him crucified him that resurrected and he ascended to heaven and this same jesus that we're expecting that he would return to establish his kingdom forever on earth that should be our concern all these people have their ways they have their time they will fizzle out they will reign and do their things and they will all die and go but jesus is alive forever and ever avoid this kind of foolish arguments it does no good it does no good to you as a person the only thing that you should be careful about is your relationship with the lord jesus i'm out of here and i want to read your comments in the comment section god bless you i'll be seeing you in the next video till then keep believing keep living right and keep expecting and waiting for the coming of the lord jesus i love you guys from me to you shalom